everybody. Welcome to Comedy for a Change. Come on, let's hear some applause. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I want to thank you for having us here, hosting us in your fair city. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. We'll try not to break anything around here. I know the city's very old. Okay, I hope you're ready to rumble. And this is Comic Annihilation. Three quarters of an hour to solve the Middle East conflict? Couldn't this be done quicker? <laughs> we saw Jerusalem potential back when it was young, and you guys, you just benched Jerusalem. <laughs> Israel, we can do so much together. I don't get this. Do you not know that I like you? I think you say that to all the religions. <laughs> Um, a Muslim from Denmark, a Palestine from New York, and a Jew from Amsterdam went to the Western Wall. So are you Jewish? Yeah, yeah, I, probably. That's so a I'm Egyptian, so I'm, somehow you guys were in... The office, the office always had kind of like a more affluent um, audience base. So they were the first people to get the, uh, the video iPods, and then they started downloading the office, and it just kind of became a thing. Politicians try to use comedy, and comedy abuses politicians. And it's funny. Nir has decided to completely legalize marijuana in the city of Jerusalem starting today. All great North American comedy emanates from Yiddish. One of the things that we can sometimes regret is if we just express the anger uh, in a more naked way, uh, it comes out sometimes rather than really making a good joke out of it. We look at them and go, they had all these great stories. They had Margaret Thatcher going. They had a we come on and we have pestilence and flooding and death. And we once had a whole show with Tuck Rabin, and that was about five years after he was murdered. And war and maiming and babies dying and whatever it is, and all the stuff you cannot do comedy on. Um, I, seriously, I think if you don't like change, you should go. I, I'm not you personally. Um, so what we've got to do is begin to predict how people are going to be watching television in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, their language means short, it means uh, video, and preferably, it means funny. If for some reason you still don't think that comedy can make a change, I have three words for you. Uh, Kim Jong Un. <laughs> 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 now, let's have some fun.